Abbott's Match Company. It's the heart, the soul, the uh, pulse, if you will, of Colon, Michigan, the magic capital of the world. Now for four days, this teeming metropolis of well over 1,200 people will host what it is uh, without question the most eclectic, certainly the most amazing gathering of magicians and illusionists from around the world. But before that, I'm going to give you a personal tour of all of downtown Colon. And to do it, we're going to need a vehicle. We're going to need a vehicle that, that can move fast and can cut quickly through that crazy Colon traffic. All right, check this out. Guys, you ready? Drop it now! In 1934, magician Percy Abbott opened the Abbott's Magic Company. In this tiny Michigan town, the then summer home of famed illusionist Harry Blackstone Sr. He also started a small yearly gathering that eventually grew into a convention hosting thousands of magicians. Lately, attendance has dropped, but for those that remain, Abbott's remains a magical home that welcomes an amazing family of people who have been coming together for decades. The Abbott's magic get-together literally takes over the town. The big action focuses around a junior high school auditorium, home of the Magic Dealer Room. In past years, this room would have been packed with magicians standing shoulder to shoulder. But with attendance dwindling, rumor has it that this may be the last Abbott's get-together. I can do this trick you know, all day. Yes, yes there, there is. is. The product's guaranteed. I've got it. You want it. You can't bring it down. The magic price is right. In showcase number three, we have an assorted collection of magic paraphernalia from all over the world. The magicians are long dead. The memories are not. Uh, we've got the, all this historical uh, downtown area. But the merchants, everybody else is, you know. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, breathe. It's this love of magic and attention that transforms virtually every street corner into a stage. Wow, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> and the cake's full of candles. We are here with uh, with Franco. Franco, I, I had the pleasure of just seeing your show. But even more than magic, I want to talk politics. Oh, now, good. correct me if I'm wrong, you're in fact running for office. Is this true? For President of the United States. What States. kind of progress have you made so far? <laughs> well, I've got it on the side of my truck. I, uh, this is my first interview as the presidential campaign. Are you a pro clown, full clown? No. I'm a pest control man. <laughs> pest control? Yes. Yes. You're so you're like the bug clown. I'm the bug clown. As the clown of exterminators. Would you mind killing a bug for us? Sure. Just go find a bug. Yeah, whack him. Whack him. Over the years, this event has created its own local celebrities. While my pro colleagues and I are enjoying Big Fish Little Pond fame, a new generation of magicians is gearing up for their big break, the Amateur Contest. So, in May, and it's basically the same act that he's going to do tomorrow in the talent competition. Great, let's get started. For my first trick, I need four people from the audience to help me out. So if you could please look under your seat. Could I have the house lights, please? And then just, just hold the key. Oh. Just, just hold it. So it's been a part of the routine. As you're, as you're talking, just, just hold it. With a cash prize of $300 and the status of being Magic's next likely star, the pressure is intense. The house lights, please. Zero through six. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Ten cards, zero through nine. If you could each give me a number. Just choose a number. Eight.
Oh, by the way, back in 1977, as a starry-eyed 14-year-old, I won this contest. With 99% of magicians being male, and not surprisingly, most single, every local girl becomes inundated by magic. Meanwhile, every afternoon, preparations begin for the big show that night. Now we got the whole uniform on. <laughs> A, a new version of the broom suspension and it's called Samurai. But the real magic here is in the character of the people. With the town's population doubled, the locals take every opportunity to capitalize on the world of magic. Is there anything actually rabbit related to the rabbit ear? The rabbit ears are because the uh, magic capital of the world has rabbits. And so we named our snack rabbit ears. Really? Yes. As opposed to any other species? Like yes, it could have been anything. So next year, do you think you'll be adding any other organs to the, the menu? Um, we're looking at liver. Rabbit liver? Rabbit livers. You dip that, huh? Rabbit livers with tea. Magical hamsters, right? They're what? What's a magical hamster worth? Uh, I don't know. A couple hundred it's bucks just... at least, right? No. Do they do anything? They're not real. They don't have real magic. They know what? They're just, they, you can just use them for magic or keep them as a pet. Really? Pretty cool. But are they magical on their own? Like if you rub them, can you like make stuff up here? No. Do they know any tricks? No? You, gotta, you gotta teach me to do tricks. A friend of mine had a hamster that could actually pass into multiple dimensions. Or that was his theory anyway. They float? I'm sure. They don't float. Do you know, honestly, you know, I can teach you how to make a hamster float. You wanna learn that, really? Honestly. All right, this is a little secret. But you do, get yourself a hamster, two scoops of ice cream, and a large cup. Stir up the ice cream, pop the hamster in, hamster float. Hamster float. <laughs> I kill myself, hamster float. King in my wrist, can you hear this? I don't know. It's okay when I go like this. When I go like this, listen. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't think that's supposed to happen, is it? Wait. Oh, yeah. I know. I think that's a bad piece of plastic cup under the arm, don't you? <laughs> Back when I was a very small child and Percy was still in charge, they uh, crucified a man for the Saturday Night Spectacular finale. And he literally was crucified uh, on a cross when the nails really were driven through his hands. They made me leave because I was just a little kid. In When I arrived here four days ago, the rumor around town was that after 66 years, this may be the last Abbott's get-together. But now, as I look around, I'm guessing the magic will continue.